Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I'm honored to give you a sneak peek of the brand new no noise AI technology from On One. It uses an AI network to analyze your photo, quickly remove all of the noise, maintain all of the detail in a way that you've never seen before. In our testing, it's been the best noise reduction that you can find. Now, it also works inside of your workflow. It creates industry standard formats like DNG to maintain the full color and tonal range, just like a normal raw photo. And you can use it through Lightroom or Capture One or Photoshop, you name it, on any kind of file type, including raw data, non-raw data, and even files from Fuji cameras. Let me show you how easy it is to use. Here we are inside of No Noise. I've opened up a photo. Let's take a look at the info pane. Up here, you notice this is from a Nikon Z7. It's 5,000 ISO that it shot at. 5,000 is a good working ISO. If you need to have a short shutter speed, you're working outside in a low light situation, and you need to be able to stop action, it's a pretty common one to use. Now, there's a lot of higher and a lot lower, but this is kind of where you start to see a lot of noise appear in photos on most cameras. All right, so this is what the photo looks like as an overview. Let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom in to 100% here, and let's pan up a little bit. Now this is actually showing the results after no noise using its default settings. I'm just gonna turn this off so you can see before. There's before with the noise and after. Now I'm just gonna turn on a little split screen preview here so we can see better. Let's zoom in to 200%. This makes it a lot easier to see those differences. Now as I pan around, what you see on the left hand side is before no noise, noise reduction. What you see on the right is afterwards. So let's take a look at this particular guy right here. I'm just gonna grab the little handle and I'll move it back and forth so you can see before and after. Now keep in mind, this is the default settings. We still have some little adjustments we can make. Now, a lot of times on noise reduction applications, when you have very thin things like these small little feathers, they're only a couple pixels wide, they'll get smushed. They'll just turn into uh, kind of a mushy area with no detail. You'll notice, see, there's the before. And after on no noise, it's still maintaining all those subtle little feathers. Now, let's get to work on actually adjusting it and optimizing it for our photo. Again, we're just using the default settings here. I'm going to turn that split screen preview off, and I'll bring an interesting area of the photo into the preview. When I... I'm adjusting noise. I kind of look for an area that has detail and an out of focus area in the same area in the photo. That way I can look at both. That makes it easy to judge my adjustments. Now over here in the no noise section, this is where you're going to make those adjustments. Something that really sets no noise apart is that it's super fast to make these adjustments and you can preview them in real time. So I'm just going to go from the default settings. I'm just going to turn everything down, sharpening down, color noise reduction down, luminous noise reduction down. So basically we're not doing anything right now. You notice how quickly the preview updated. It updates in real time. Now, when I make my adjustments, I start off with the color noise slider. And on most photos, I'm gonna have that all the way to the top, all the way at 100. That's gonna help me reduce any color noise. And on a photo like this, there's a little bit. You'll see a lot less on newer cameras than on older cameras. The Z7 is a pretty new camera, so you don't see a lot of color noise unless it's a really long exposure. This is only a 1600th of a second, not a very long exposure. So you're not gonna see a ton but you'll still see a little bit. You can kind of see these little diffuse, they almost appear, appear like a magenta uh, color in the background areas. So if I grab this color slider and I bring it up, you'll see how those little magenta areas turn gray. They go to the color that they should be to match the background. So I'm gonna turn that up. The other thing you'll notice, if you watch these areas of high color on contrasty edges, like the green and the yellow of the beak, a lot of other noise reduction applications, when you turn that color noise reduction up, those areas are gonna become desaturated as a hard time telling where the boundaries are at between colors, and it'll end up desaturating or blurring the color channels to achieve that. But because this is all based on an AI technology, you don't see that at all. I can turn the color up, remove the color in the background, nothing happens on those colorful sharp edges. All right, next up is the luminance adjustment. Now, if I turn it all the way up to 100, you can see no noise at all. It's removed it completely. But to me, because I'm an old film guy, it still looks a little artificial maybe. And this becomes almost a religious topic. It's kind of a Ford versus Chevy or Canon versus Nikon. The amount of noise reduction you want is up to you, your photo, your preference. The great thing about no noise, very fast to adjust it. You pick exactly what you want. So here's what I do. I start with it all the way down at the bottom. And then I'm going to bring it up slowly until I have just a little bit of tooth left, just a little bit of noise, what looks like a little bit of film grain. And again, this is my personal preference. So watch, I'm just going to bring this up. You can see in real time as it gets smaller and smaller and fades out. And on a photo like this, once I get up to about 75, maybe 80, that's about where it's going to go away. There we go. 
Again, all those little feathers still there, still look realistic. We've maintained the subtle white details in those whites. All the little green branches are still there. I'm gonna add a little bit of sharpening. This uses our uh, progressive sharpening. If you've ever seen it before, it's an amazing sharpening algorithm. It sharpens the small details differently than it sharpens the higher or the larger details. It doesn't give you any halos. Very cool. I'm just gonna turn that sharpening up a little bit. Let's take a look at the before and the after again. There's before with no noise reduction and after. So there you go. That's how no noise works. It analyzes the photo, removes the noise, maintains the details, and all does it very, very quickly with you in charge of how much noise reduction you want. And then you save it out into a common format like a DNG. So you've got a beautiful, clean, raw photo that you can work with in any other application. There you go. That's No Noise AI coming soon to a computer near you. Thanks for watching.